Again, everyone has had this one circled on their calendar for weeks. Eastwood and Elmwood both sitting at 6-0, first place in the NBC on the line tonight. Elmwood won this game a year ago, 56-49. Can we get another thriller tonight in Pemberville? I think so. Starting the second half, quarterback Case Boost from Eastwood. Deciding to keep it himself, makes a few defenders miss. Dives into the end zone, that would put Eastwood up by two scores. But Elmwood would not go quietly. They get within a one-score game. And then, watch this, quarterback Hayden Wicker takes it himself. He would find a corner. Gets to the end zone. This makes it a 49-48 game in the final minutes. They can tie it and take their chance in overtime, but no, they decide to go for two and they want to win it now. On the two-point play, rolling out, can't find anybody. Throws at the last second, it gets knocked incomplete. Eastwood, a huge defensive stop. They win 49-48. Chase Bachman has more. It was a battle of undefeateds in the NBC. Both teams came into this game 6-0, but Eastwood left the field with the 49-48 win. They get revenge over last year's game, and now they are in the driver's seat in the NBC. I mean, it's not exactly what we expected. Um, you know, we thought it would be close, and we knew that they were explosive offensively. Um, I was really proud of the way that our offense came out, you know, established the line of scrimmage early, and obviously our backs were running hard and blocking hard for each other. Um, Defensively, you know, as the game got going, we knew, hey, we're gonna have to come up with just a couple big plays. Obviously, fumble recovery, interception for a touchdown. I mean, that was that was one of the biggest plays of the game. And then um, just those guys digging in on that two-point conversion and getting the stop for us. That was pretty special. I mean, this is the toughest game I've ever played in my entire life. Couldn't be more proud of my guys. You know, I, I thank them for everything they do for me every day. And have an outcome like this in a hard-fought game, that just shows that the, the amount of grit that our team has. We waited about a year for that. All the blood, sweat, and tears put into that game. Nobody, nobody would ever know how much footwork we put into that. All summer, that was our motivation. And working up to this this week was our motivation as well. And to have this game, it's, it's, just, it's just, I can't even explain it. The Eagles are now 7-0, and they will look to continue that next week when they take on Rossford. Reporting in Pemberville, Chase Bachman, WTOL 11.